Bonjour, y'all. Today we're gonna do a short chair yoga flow designed to help release hip pain. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our chair is on a mat so it's not going to slide with some of the stuff we're gonna be doing. Once that is done, we're gonna sit in the chair, make sure our feet are flat on the floor, your knees are at a 90 degree. Sitting up nice and tall, roll your shoulders up, drop them down your back, and begin to find your breath. Notice how the breath feels as you inhale and your belly expands. And notice how the breath feels as you exhale, belly contracts, breath moves out of your nose. And just a few more breaths like that. Now we're gonna take a wide leg stance. So separating the legs, feet remain flat on the floor. Find a spot that's comfortable for you. Don't go too wide where you can't keep your feet on the floor and it's not comfortable. We're sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take our left arm overhead. Nice side stretch. Five breaths here. And switching sides, right arm overhead. And back up to a neutral position, bringing our legs back to the front, feet flat on the floor. Going to reset, roll the shoulders up, down the back, and relax them. We're going to take the left leg, crossing over the right, creating our figure four, sitting up nice and tall. Five breaths here. And switching sides, left foot back down to the floor, right foot over. and foot back on the floor. All right, we are gonna do now a supported side bend lunge. So what that means is we're gonna turn to the right side, take your right foot on the floor in front of you, and we're using the chair as a support. The left leg is gonna straighten out behind you. So you are in a supported lunge, and we're gonna take our left arm overhead for a side bend. Using the chair with your right arm as support. Thank you. 
-hmm. back to a neutral position. We're gonna switch sides now. So now the left leg is going over the chair, foot planted firmly on the floor, right leg out behind you, in your lunge, supported, right arm overhead. back to center. All right, I'm going to stand up and move my chair a little bit just so you can see. And I'm going to do a wide-legged supported downward facing dog. So I'm going to place my hands on my chair, take my feet out some behind me, feet are wide. I am each foot on the edge of my mat and I'm going to walk my arms a little forward and allow my chest to fall through. Walking back up while we're standing, we're going to go ahead and do a thigh stretch. So I'm going to hold on to the back of the chair. I'm going to take bending my left leg, grab that ankle. Now, if you cannot reach the ankle, if you have a belt or a band or something that you can use to help hold your leg up, that is perfectly fine. But we are going to hold the ankle, flex the foot, and push into the stretch, and you'll feel that stretch in the front thigh. And release that one. We're going to switch and do the right foot. So same thing. release. And again, while we're standing, I'm going to go ahead and do all the standing positions now. So we're going to work on a low lunge supported with the chair. So we're going to use the hands on the chair. We're going to take our right leg bent forward, left leg back, and use the chair to support you. And back up, switching sides. Coming back to standing. Last standing exercise we have is a supported pyramid. So I'm going to take my left leg back some, not real far. And they're not in a straight line, they're just your normal gait apart. 
Knees are straight, not locked out, but they're straight. Slight bend. Using the chair again, you are now in a supported triangle. Switching sides. And back to standing. I'm going to move my chair back to the center of my mat. And I'm going to have a seat. All right. Now we're going to reset. So feet flat on the floor. Knees are at 90 degree angle. Rolling the shoulders up, down the back. Find your breath again. Then we're going to take left foot over the right and we're going to twist towards the left knee. Back to center, switching sides, and twisting. You can really use your breath when you're doing these twists. And imagine on your inhales that your spine is lengthening. And on your exhales, you can twist just a little further. And back to center. All right, last one. We're going to do a seated eagle. And we're going to take the left leg and cross it over. But we're not crossing in a figure four. We're crossing it. And we're going to try to tuck that foot under our calf. Sometimes it's not going to happen. If you have that flexibility, great. If not, just holding your legs like this. Hands are behind you in the chair. And you're going to create an arch in your back. Make sure you don't feel any pain, just a nice stretch. Back up, switching sides, and we're arching again. Good job. Coming back to center, we're going to take just a few minutes to bring ourselves back down from all the work we've just done. So find a nice 
seated position where you are nice and comfortable and can sit still for just a moment. You can place your hands on your knees, in your lap, whatever's comfortable for you. Pull your shoulders up, down your back, gently close your eyes. Begin to find your breath. Notice it as it travels through your body. Does it feel different than it did before we started the practice? Do you see any colors as the breath travels in and out? How does your body feel? Continue to breathe as your eyes are closed. And any thoughts travel in, notice them and let them move on. Shavasana. Begin to bring some gentle motion back into your body. You might tap your feet gently, tap your fingers, rotate your wrists. A big stretch overhead. And bring your hands down to heart center. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. I hope that you have been able to release some tension for your hips and feel better overall. And just remember that you are strong, you are capable, you are worthy, and you are loved. And gently bow. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed the practice here with us today. Chair yoga is great for everyone, um, especially those that might have some mobility issues, seniors that don't have great balance. Um, these are great to do if you're at work and you have just a few minutes to take for yourself and do some of these stretches. But if you like what you've seen, and if you've learned anything, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time on Wellness for Everybody.